Hello, I'd like to uh, thank AI.dev and the Linux Foundation for hosting this talk, and um, as well as you for being here and the folks on the uh, internet as well. So AI penetration testing, I've uh, been doing this for a couple years now. I've uh, been doing penetration testing for more than that. Um, oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, my name is... Um, Did you hear the echo in that? So, okay, that's, we'll get into that in a little bit, but um, anyways, been doing penetration testing for several years. Um, hacking models and hacking with AI, sort of the breakdown of those two, uh, what is AI penetration testing? Um, and some of the popular attacks today are, you know, the prompt attacks. Um, extraction, backdoors, exfiltration, poisoning, adversarial attacks. I was looking for something um, newer, more entertaining for me as a, a, as a red teamer, pen tester, and um, uh, decided to focus on, say, some multimodal attacks. And in the example that I've come up here today is uh, file fuzzing. Uh, voice to text. Here I'm using um, a great model uh, called Whisper. And um, I have a regular file that uh, I created and, you know, it's, it does a great job. This is a test. Can you hear me? This is another test. Um, and I tried some background noise in it and uh, crosstalk and see if there was any type of if it could still pick up the text. And it did a great job. So, um, but then I used, what I started doing was flipping the bits within the audio file itself. And you can use fuzzers for that. Um, FTL++ is a great one. Here's an old one, uh, Zuff, I guess. And so I'm bit flipping, there's magic bits. And it's very easy to disrupt a, or corrupt an MP4. Um, and at the, the first example I have here is I'm using, um, uh, I get a signal nine memory exceeded error. And so that's just like fuzzing with these offsets, creating bit, stuffing it into the whisper um, multimodal app and it creates a signal nine and then there's a stack trace um, which goes to the transcribe and then what ultimately a kicker is oh it's calling FFmpeg um, so what the model is doing is it's calling FFmpeg to um, basically convert the audio file to a spectrograph spectrogram and then um, transcribe it and um, transform it into uh, something it can translate into text. Um, and so, okay, I tried it just taking this file, fuzzing it, stuffing it in a whisper, got a stack trace. So then I took FFmpeg and I fuzzed it with the same parameters and then I saw a SIG 711, which is a segmentation fault. Um, it wound up being for this particular finding a null pointer to reference, and so it's not likely exploitable. But you can get pretty far with file fuzzing, bit flipping, as one of the vectors into these um, uh, models. So you could, you know, potentially like uh, launch an attack that would do a buffer overflow on the part that takes the audio and creates it to a spectrogram, okay? And then that could take over the system. Um, here's another example of where I have an audio file and uh, here's what it looks like. Um, 
I'm using Audacity to uh, take a look at the, the WAV file in this case. And you can see the translation, but it's cool that it's not anything like the word Pepsi. Uh, these guys are talking about uh, Tab and Pepsi or whatever. Um, and, but then I start working within the context of the file itself. So before I was sort of breaking the model of the audio file of you know the encoding and process and stuff like that. But then I started working within the confines uh, and making legal uh, MP4 file or legal WAV files in this case, but I'm adding here echo distortion, okay? And as you can see, so the model did a great job. It translated every word in the 30 seconds that was given. But when I started adding echo distortion, um, it started missing, but it's cool that it's not. It sort of ends with anything like the word Pepsi. Anything like the word Pepsi. So apparently the model is not using um, uh, echo cancellation in it. So that could be a tack vector into it and changing words, things of that nature. Uh, Let's go to an example real quick to give you an idea what that is. So here's the file. You know, like the old tabs, tab and tad, sound like each other. But it's cool that it's not anything like the word Pepsi. Okay, and then here we have it with echo distortion. You know, like the old tabs, tab and tad, sound like each other. But it's cool that it's not anything like the word Pepsi. So you can see that um, it's not compensating for that. So you probably have to add some extra measures to your model or something to cancel out the echoes. Okay, is it time to go? Okay, um, so that's all for now. And uh, thank you very much. Any questions, let me know.